Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, ooh, sorry the lighting's really weird. Um, in today's video, I wanted to do an updated room tour because I did one last year and you guys really liked that one. But I wanted to do an updated one more briefed over what the actual dorm room, like apartment looks like and then more of what I do in my space because I changed it all up to make it more a pleasing. And I'm sure my sister will do a dorm tour too so you guys can go visit her video to see what her room looks like because she arrange it differently but still storage stuff is kind of the same so let's get into it with the front so here's the door so when you first enter there's the table right here and the living room kind of set up differently but here it is we have the ac running because it's hot out right now but it's a pretty big living room if we had a tv it would probably go right there or something but we don't right now so that's what it looks like the table we push more in the corner so we have more space right here and we can pull it out when we need things but we don't have to and then here's the kitchen we each have our four main pantries. Kate and I have two because there's two of us. So there's that. And then more, more storage all the way around. We have just a few over here. And then the fridge, which is a decent sized fridge. If you can't tell. And then basically, yeah, the freezer's two shelves. Here's the stove and everything. Then here's the storage room. I'll give you guys some more. This is what it looks like for your convenience. It's pretty big, honestly, so it's nice for that. My sister has a giant coffee machine, so if you take this into consideration, the size of a coffee machine, it's huge. So there's a big gap right here for everything. And then double sinks with a dispenser or whatever it's called, something. But yeah, and then there's overhead lights right here so you don't, <coughs> wrong thing right there so you always need this big light on and then let's move over to my side of the room there's the hallway light right here but there's also just the light right here hello I just got done from work so sorry about how I look and then there's two sides there's two sides for that and two sides for that there's a medicine cabinet on both sides two sinks so roommates can share Kate and I have all our extra crap in here, but there's double that, and then there's four drawers, so that's super nice. And then we come into the toilet room area, which is separate from the shower room, which we keep like our mop and broom and everything, all that. We put, we get two trash cans and one recycling bin in here, so here's one of the trash cans, but we decide to put, we decide, Kate and I decided to get uh, another trash can with a lid, so when we're disposing of things, it's private, so not everyone has to see that, but it's a giant room, lots of space that you can work with, and there's that, and then into the shower room, here's Kate and I's, there's a lot of storage, if you can't already tell, for everyone's stuff, so there's just the bottom two, and then there's two more, there's two more on top for, or however it is, four more on top for the other roommates, and then the shower we're getting a shower caddy i added the curtain but we're getting a shower caddy so we can put our stuff somewhere else and then we can hang towels here and hang towels there there's four there two there works out nice it's huge you could probably fit a bathtub in here it's ginormous and then here's kate's room here's my room so when you come in i got a rug so i'm out of breath like i really have been working and then you come in like this i have I personally believe in getting one of these for hanging all my bags and all my jackets and stuff because it saves space everywhere else and then I also just put a command strip right here to hang like my keys wallet stuff masks right now so that makes it easy I just put a mirror right here I'm short enough so I don't really have to do much to really look in the mirror but yeah here's the mirror and then I have some pictures hanging along there Disney pictures if you guys want to see all those And then this year, my room setup is completely different. So I got a chair right here. It has some stuff on it, which is fine because I'm still organizing because I just moved in Sunday. But I put a chair right here on the rug to add a little bit more extra space so now everyone has to sit on my bed. And then you come in. I have another rug right here. Those are all my shoes, which are going to go on my shoe rack. But then I have my closet right here, which I have some bins on top so I can organize. And then my sheets, which I want to put in a bin, but I can't find the bin. And then this closet like shoe rack type of thing I have all my sweatshirts folded in there and they're all so it saves space in the closet 
and then I did my desk differently this year well not really but yeah so that's on top sorry the window's weird I think I'm a fan my sister's troll my duck green bay duck and then my desk so I have some scrunchies some books journals all that um my light up mirror extra light which I can put my phone on and then a lamp because I do not like the overhead lamp so I bought one from Ikea super cheap I'm sorry guys I am really winded but yeah and then I just have like a small garbage bin down there which I can move around if I need to and then in the drawers I just have like an HDMI cable there so I can hook up my TV and then this is like all my school supplies and then this one I have my camera stuff slash extra stuff and this one I have like my books folders notebooks all that so when I need them I can pull them out and then here again is like my little toiletry cart so it has like all my makeup because I'll be doing it on my desk instead of in the bathroom area and then it has like my curling wand hair dryer makeup bags makeup makeup lotion contacts like that type of stuff and then we move on to my dresser so this was um an over the fridge caddy that we got from the Target dollar section for 30 cents instead of five dollars because it was on sale but it has a big pocket right here which I currently have command hooks in but we'll host something else maybe my computer or something and then this there's stuff on the side so you can put this over a mini fridge but I just put it over my dresser so I have a little bit extra storage and I can use it for something nice then I have a few more postcards framed right there and then pictures my little sister Disney maps Kleenex um, surge protector and my Alexa which I actually got set up this year oh shoot is she gonna go off no she's not and then I just have this Imagineering book which I got for Christmas if you saw my Christmas haul whatever it is and I just like it here for like a little coffee book table looks nice plus I can read it and then picture my sister uh, painted some ears because I'm a Disney freak and I love it and then here's my bed so it has a lot of pillows on it but I'll take those off when I go to sleep and basically it then I have this is just like a kids rug from Target so the Playfort brand and it was $60 not a bad price super comfortable rug and then I have this bin from 31 which I have some extra blankets in and some bags then I have my laundry hamper I might change this setup and then my shoe rack which I need to put my shoes on and then just my clothes bin which I'll probably move to the storage room and then my suitcase because I'm still unpacking it but that'll probably stay there you probably and then I just have this rolling cart from Ikea which doesn't have a lot on it right now but has masks, tissues, hand sanitizer, this box and then another surge protector and some games down there but yeah I gotta add more to it and that's basically it um, let me know if you have any questions. This comforter is from Target. It's the Opal House brand. I love it. Super comfortable, but that's basically it. There's my room. I'll do like a pan from the corner so you guys can see the layout. It's big. Like, these rooms are like, if you take in consideration, like, the freshman dorms, if you've been to Green Bay, the freshman dorms, or like, the shared room apartments, it's like, if you split it in half, add like an extra foot or two to that half of the freshman dorms and that's like your room yourself. So it's super nice in that aspect. Um, they're harder to get into. If you would have saw my everything you need to know about Green Bay, it talks about, I talk a lot about it. You usually need to know someone to pull you in or do a year long contract to get one of these rooms or be a junior or senior usually. But if you guys can get in, it's a good idea. Otherwise move halfway through the year sometimes that works but if you have any more questions I can answer them down below in the comments and um, maybe I'll do like a more in-depth building tour or something to show you guys the laundry show you guys the lounge all that but that's it like subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more videos like this I plan on more college content and Green Bay content coming your way and I'll see you guys in the next video